All right, guys, we've got another hired request today. And again, this is a, a song that I cannot pronounce the name of, but apparently is really popular with some of you. I don't know what country it's popular in, but uh, and it's a nice piano piece, even if you don't know it and you never, never heard it. Uh, just go ahead and listen to it. Welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. The free part one is right here on YouTube. I'm going to teach you this beginning part on here. Uh, the rest of it, as always, is on my website, webpianoteacher.com, if you want to become a member. I never have a recurring charge, so if you sign up for a month, I don't keep charging you every month. I think that's uh, not a good policy. I hate that when uh, companies do that to me. So uh, the, it does not recur. You buy it by the month, and you'll have to actually they'll sign, you know, uh, pay again if you want another month. So that way you're just getting just what you pay for at that time. Uh, I'm on Facebook. Just do a search for Sean Cheek or Web Piano Teacher. You can find me on there and uh, get updates for you know what I'm up to, what songs coming up. I'm also on Twitter. My name is Web Piano Teacher. You can also check out my blog. Just go to webpianoteacher.com. There's a blog link. I have a lot of articles that I've written that you can read. There's also a list of YouTube links of all the songs that are on YouTube um, of artist names and, and stuff, so you can, can uh, do that. Anyway, let's get to this. Enough of that. Um, <clears throat> in the key of A, and I do have sheets for this, so if you're hiring me to do a request, uh, it's cheaper because it takes less time for me if you have sheets in PDF form that you can give to me. So I'm looking over here, I'm making sure I'm getting it right with the sheets and giving you the whiteboard version up here. So we're going to start with an A octave on the left hand. We're going to start with the right hand on a C sharp up here. Now, you need to get used to seeing chord patterns. Instead of just seeing one note at a time and having just tunnel vision like that, you want to see the whole thing. C sharp, down to E and then A. So my hand is in that position. I have those keys under my finger. Okay? See how everything's in one place? And so instead of looking at one note at a time, I see that whole pattern there. Alright? So C sharp with a, maybe the fourth finger, A on the, I mean E with the thumb, and then A here with the, the, po the pointer and the B on the middle finger. And then we're just going to go C sharp, E, A, E, B, E, A, left hand is going to have an A octave. Okay, so there are the two A's. Then I'm just going to play the higher A on this note. And you just, if you're new to my whiteboard method, you just line up the notes. Uh, you shouldn't have to have any prior musical experience to do this. It's all <coughs> kind of self-explanatory here. So this goes together. A. Now here I'm going to play the A again. Okay. Now one thing with the whiteboard method is, is that one of the drawbacks is rhythm. So you have to have me <laughs> uh, demonstrating it for you because it's, it's a lot by ear. So uh, if you think you can just get the pictures of the whiteboard, that's all you need. You need more than that. You need to either to know the song or to have it demonstrated to you so you can hear the rhythm. But this one's easy because it's straight eighth notes. One and two and three and four and. And I do hold the damper pedal down. Now we're going to change a little bit, but we don't change it much. All we change is the E to a D sharp. So e, we've got a D sharp here, this is a D sharp, and then we're able to play this measure. Everything else is the same. The A's on the left hand, the, the C sharp, B, A on the right. So C sharp, D, F sharp, and then here play together. So a new pedal for this one because you don't want those two chords to mix. Now, uh, I did find a, a typo in the uh, in the sheets I was given. Uh, they had they don't natural the the. Uh, wait, hold on. No, I'm thinking about something else. That's later. Uh, so I do. Let 
listen to the original just to make sure the sheets that you provide are are, are really close to what uh, is being done. So, so this is a C natural down to a D and then up to F <coughs> back down to a D and then B D A D okay and I just saw a typo that I made when I think no I didn't ah, sometimes I think I messed up and I didn't I was looking at the wrong measure those are our D sharps all right but no D sharps here C D F D B D A D left hand A octave and then the single A there so in the thumb, and then E, and then C sharp up here, and then A here. Ba, 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 ba. So you might need to get your fingers up in between the black keys a little bit to play that, or you can do it like this and move. I find it easier to stay in one place. So you got to get comfortable having your fingers in between the black keys. Some people are not comfortable doing that. A octave. So there's the first time we have a held note. It's a half note. So we ma, ba, 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 three, four. So let's go from the beginning all the way to that part because that's kind of our first opening phrase. One, two, three, four measure phrase. All right, ready, go. One. an octave. So I'm going to move up an octave, and an octave just means to the very next, you know, up eight or yeah, eight keys. So instead of this A, I'm going to be on this A. Instead of this C sharp right here, I'm going to be on this C sharp. So I move everything to the right, and I'm up here, okay? So I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I went ahead and wrote it out here for you, but a C sharp with the A octave in the left hand, and then together here. So that's all I could fit on this board. But anyway, starting here again. One and two and three and four and five. Okay, so up an octave there. So that's our free part one. The rest of it's on webpianoteacher.com along with many other videos. Well over a thousand now on the site. Uh, hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll talk to you later.